Hi guys, this is Emily Cupelli. Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'll be decorating the Mother's Day wig. But first, I wanted to show you this wig, this previous wig, because today is Saturday. So I thought I would just show you very quickly how it is looking with all the stickers and all filled out. I haven't finished fill, uh, filling out Saturday, which is today because I'm still filming and then I want to edit and schedule so I think I'll wait until I finish all of that and depending on how much time of the day I have left is what I will decide to do for the rest of the day and then I will fill that out but now into today's week or this next week and for this week I decided to use these two Watchy tape rolls from Recollections from Michaels, one from the narrow set and one from one of the long tubes. So this is what I used on the edges of the holes and then I punched back the holes into my pages with my Happy Planner hole punch and then for the narrow one I just stick it down on the top line. And for this week, the plan is to do something a little different to what I usually do, which is using a lot of full boxes. And for that, I will be using my floral sticker book, which I actually think that it is officially called Today is the Day. But, you know, when I mean the floral sticker book, I mean this pink flag sticker book. And I'll be using precisely the floral stickers, mainly the boxes, like I mentioned. I want to use at least one full box for, for every single day because I feel I have never done that, I think. So that is what I want to do today to change things up a little bit. And this will be just one spread of a few that I want to do that way so this will be like the first experimenting one but first of all like I usually do I want to stick down my quote box in my quote corner for which I will use this beautiful floral sticker box as a background and then from that same floral sticker book I want to take this black white and gold you got this sticker which will actually be my quote of the week or at least for this corner since I'll probably keep adding quotes along the week and you know to the days of the week because you get a lot of quotes in these Mambi sticker books so I'll probably have some more quotes during this week then the first box says I will put into my week are gonna be the ones in the weekend because I actually want to use a double box for that uh, weekend and I'll be using this one which I actually will first cut it down a little bit And I guess I can keep that little sticker in there and I can use it some other day or in some other place. But for now, as you saw, I just wanted the decorative area of the double box. And this, of course, is this from the same florals sticker book. And now I am loving that. So to finish it off from my seasonal sticker book from Mambi, I will use this Happy Mother's Day litter pattern here. And I will stick it to the weekend, more towards the Sunday, since Mother's Day is on Sunday. And I think I want to trim it off to almost kinda make it look like if it were coming from behind the double box. 
I absolutely love how that turned out. Really excited about that. And now into my full boxes. Since the Happy Planner doesn't have space between the boxes, I don't want to stick them all in a row. I want to randomly, kinda randomly actually, place them Well guys, these are all my full boxes down. I borrowed these from the seasonal sticker book because I liked how bold the white and black was and I thought it would go pretty well with the style of this floral sticker book. And I sold this one too, just to pull in a little more of those like corally and pinks and greens. Also, as you saw, I cut them all down just because I prefer them that way. The seasonal sticker book, I didn't have to do that because the boxes were already short. But for the floral sticker book, they started doing like the even longer boxes where they cover the header. So I cut the header part. And in this one in particular, the little piece that I cut out because I wanted that color in there. So I ended up um replacing the green line for this corally line which i really like and sorry about my nails again because they're always like a disaster and they even make things kind of hard for me because i could like barely pick up the pages so i definitely need to work in that on that bad habit of mine of biting my nails every time i get stressed but we will see <laughs> But for now, I really like how they turned out and because I had this like fully decorative double box in here, I went ahead and added these two full boxes which take even more space but they are functional at the same time so I thought they were perfect for the weekend. And talking of bold blacks and white, I just saw this box and I just decided I want it in my spread so I'll just go ahead and add it in here in the side part because I usually do not track my do not track my meals but lately I have been tracking them and doing a bit of meal planning since I have been cooking more than usual so I'll go ahead and use that box for that, but this time I'll use these stickers from Recollections from Michaels. They are like alphabet stickers in gold foiling with a clear backing, but they are really pretty and they are all uppercase and all the same font, which I actually like because I have some other letters from Recollections from Michaels and they are pretty cool because you have a bunch of different fonts in one sheet but at the same time if you run out of one font then you will have to mix the fonts if you want to keep using them which sometimes I just don't want to do so it is nice to be able to get the most out of your stickers and be able to do not have to worry about that. And I thought of spelling out the word meals, but I actually liked how it turned out last week with the piece of washi tape. 
and the icon meals or the icon off meals so I think I'll do something like that again and I'll just add very quickly an easy and a strip of washi tape that matches and then an icon for meals which is from Recollections as well from Michaels and that should be more than enough to remind myself that that is a box for meals and I am not sure if I really like that little horseshoe is how you call it in there so I think I'll use a bit of gold foiling watcher from Recollections and I will try to cover it up And now the next thing I'll go ahead and do is marking down my videos. And I feel I never use my Etsy stickers um, just because I don't want to, I don't know, I don't want to use them up. But they're kind of pricey so I better start using them and I better start enjoying them because why would I buy them if not, right? So I'll use these little beautiful balls from, from Hello Petit Paper and I will use them to mark down the days that I am expecting to post videos. And because they have like a floral pattern, they go really well with this spread, which is perfect. And because I think I want to film on Saturday again next week, I'll just go ahead and use this box for that. So it will be like film, edit, export, upload or something like that. And for that I think I want to use this other sticker sheet from Hello Petit Paper as well with this Nikki Plus 3 sticker sheet because they all are like florally themes. And I think they are just perfection with this spread. And that will be rep for representing the filming of the video and anything else related to that. And really those are all my plans for next week. So now I'll just go ahead and see if I can add some more decoration to fill in some of my boxes. So far I am really happy with the full boxes and the placement and everything. So let's see what else I find in my sticker books. But before I do that, I remember I had this Thanks God It's Friday sticker from the same floral sticker book, which I totally wanted to use. So I think I'll place this towards the upper area of my box on Friday and I also had another one of these full boxes which I totally wanted to use in here because I don't know when else would I use it if not since it is like very specific of this theme and it is gorgeous so I wanted to get some use out of it so I placed this strip of washi tape which is from the skinny washi tapes from Michaels from Recollections and it is the same size of my headers and this trick I adapted it from uh, Jenny from Stick With Me Shop where she uses like an Ikea card to cut out headers and I will try to do something like that and she always make it look really easy um, but yeah, I think with some practice, I'll get them a little better. And for now, this is just fine. And I think I'll put them in the headers where I didn't put any box. And hopefully they look as 
cute as the Etsy floral headers that you can find now because that was part of the inspiration as well. Although I could have probably used my floral Nara Wachi tapes, but since these boxes go perfectly with the theme of this week, I wanted to use them. And I am actually pretty happy with how they turned out. And the more I made, the easier it was. So that is that. And now into the rest of the stickers. Well guys, this is my spread all finished. Here I changed the strip of washi tape for this little strip that I had left over from this other box because I love it and I feel it times the sidebar even more to the rest of the spread and I love how that looks even more now and I must say that I absolutely love how this spread turned out. I definitely see myself using this style in future spreads and I am really, really happy that I got to use all of my Mambi sticker boxes because I feel like I never use them enough. And again, I buy them and they are going to waste in my drawers. So I'm really happy that I finally got to use these beautiful, gorgeous, amazing sticker boxes, including the double box in the weekend. Go ahead and let me know in the comments if you prefer this or my usual style. And also, if you think this looks busier or simpler than my usual style, because I am still thinking on that. So let me know your thoughts in the comments section. I hope you'll have an amazing Mother's Day and I'll see you next time. Bye!